Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today uh, we're going to be taking a look at the records that I got in London. I believe this is episode 5. This time I only got 3 records but I'm not disappointed at all because those 3 records are like really good records. Let's just get into it. So the first day we got there, as always, we went through, you know, Soho and Oxford Street. Yeah, I went through the 4 stores, the main stores. Uh, that are in Soho. There is Sounds of the Universe Records, Reckless Records, Sister Ray Records and Fonica Records and they're all within like 30 seconds of walking so if you're going to London I definitely recommend you go there. So I went to Sounds of the Universe Records first. I mean there was stuff there. There was a Queen Latifah record which was like a clear translucent red record for only £21 so I was thinking about getting that but uh, I said I'll maybe get it next time. I uh, went to Reckless and there was an Ice Cube single there. Uh, you can do it but I'm not a big fan of the songs but then I uh, went to Sister Ray and uh, found my first record London Posse's Gangster Chronicles now uh, I'm not super familiar with the group not as familiar as all the other rap rappers in rap groups that I know but uh, I had a, I had heard of a uh, Gangster Chronicle Money Mad and uh, How's Life in London and Luckily, I believe that this is the like the 2015 like re-release, so it has all the other songs because the original release did not have How's Life in London, which is probably my favourite song, but this one does. Uh, it's got two records in it. I just love the cover art and I found this for only £24, so that's an absolute bargain, but just look, look at the album cover. I just think it's so cool. You have, uh, I think this is Rod Rodney P at the top reading the newspaper down here. don't know if you can see that, but I I think that's, I can't remember his name, I think it's like Bionic or something like that, the guy with the high voice. But yeah, this album is such a good album and I love the way that they're actually rapping in, you know, British London accent, which I just love so much because obviously at the time we had like uh, Moni Love or Moni Love. I think that was like the only British rapper at that like famous point in rap and she was obviously rapping in an American accent. I did not know she was British until I watched Hip Hop Evolution where she's like speaking. And I just love the way that they're actually rapping in a British accent and making it sound cool because I'm not a big British rap fan. You know, I don't listen to Drill or anything. But yeah, this is definitely super cool. I'm playing it like non-stop whenever I am listening to the records. But yeah, I was really happy that I got this and it was only for 24 pounds. So yeah, I was really happy. Now at this point, uh, Sister Ray is probably my favorite record store because I think they have the most good records there. Like I definitely bought the most records there probably. And then after Sister Ray, it will probably go to uh, flashback records but uh, from yet yeah, from the same sister race store I found uh, Ron DMC's Back From Hell now this is it's a really underrated Ron DMC album not many people know it not many people listen to it which I think is just so stupid because this is like one of their best albums because when you think of Ron DMC you think of that like old style of just that shout uh, no, no. this like they actually sort of switch up their style and make it a little bit more modern for the time because this was released in 1990 so it was only 10 quid which is an absolute bargain no damage to the front cover whatsoever and this is probably one of my favorite run dmc album covers this album is probably at the moment my favorite run dmc album uh, my favorite songs are bob your head what's it all about and i think it's word is born those are like three of my favorite songs from this album and i was just really happy that i found this for 10 quid That's such a bargain yeah it's sort of similar to LL Cool J you know I didn't like his uh radio radio album I don't know why but I just didn't like that album and then I listened to Mama Said Knock You Out and that also was sort of modernized for that 90s sound and I really liked that so yeah those two records are from Sister Ray and uh for the rest of that day, we went to Fornica Records. There was nothing there and uh, that was it for that day. Uh, on the second day, we went to Sky Garden, took some cool pictures, went off to Borough Market, didn't do any record shopping. Uh, but on the last day, we did go to Camden Market. And
and I went to about three different record stores. I did actually find one record at the end, but I bought two CDs for five quid, so I'll show you guys those CDs. Also, I did forget to mention that I did buy this uh, Tupac's Greatest Hits at Foot. Not sure where it is, but it's near Chinatown, that's all I know. I was really happy that I found this. It was uh, 11 pounds, so that's a good price. And then I went to this certain store in Camden, which was really quite big. It had a lot of records there, but it did not have any hip hop, unfortunately. Uh, I think it did have a hip hop records, but not many, but it had a lot of hip hop CDs and I found uh, the Blueprint for five quid. The Blueprint, in my opinion, is not Jay-Z's best album, but it's definitely in his top three. There are quite a few skips, you know, you've got Girls, 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 which I'm not a big fan of. You've got uh, Jigger That, which I don't really like. But the takeover and Izzo, Heart of the City, Never Change, Song Cry, they're just such bangers. And I also got a 50 cents Guess Who's Back. I believe this is a mixtape, I believe. But this was a release in 2002, so this was before his uh, debut album. But this you can't actually listen to on Spotify, so I was like, it's only five quid. I am gonna get this and listen to it. It's got quite a few freestyles on it and the cover art is just absolutely beautiful. This is probably my favorite 50 cent cover art. But yeah, it's new condition and it was only five quid so I was happy that I got it. So those two were from some, I can't remember where it is, but it's, it's in a store by that like sort of a, I honestly don't know. If you just walk around Camden then you will see it. It's a really big record shop. So yeah, that was, uh really good that i found them really cheap so yeah i was happy that i got them so uh at the very end as we were about to leave i quickly walked into the record shop which is uh right near the toilets by the uh sort of like bridge place in camden and i found blonde by frank ocean now i was really happy that i found this album because it's not for sale in england and if you are looking to buy it in england it's really expensive get it from like discogs it's super expensive but yeah this one i haven't actually listened well i have now but when i bought it i didn't listen to the whole album it was a little bit of a sort of a risk but i literally got it for 20 quid which is so cheap check this out the colors on this vinyl are just amazing they are so cool uh we have the a side and b side uh yeah they're just so cool but this is sort of like a translucent sort of marble marble like blue <laughs> and then on the c and d side we have this crazy beautiful color i don't know what this is it's some sort of gray marble like color but this is honestly so cool total new condition as well for only 20 pounds so that's just mad uh, i also have bought from that store in the past i think i got kanye west's graduation and yeezus from that store but just like look at those colors Ooh. but yeah from this album my favorite songs are pink plus white and I'm also quite a big fan of self-control overall I think this album is so cool it's a nice and it's not really hip-hop it's more just sort of a I guess R&B and Frank Ocean's voice is just amazing and to only find this for like, like what 20 quid is just so cool what's kind of weird is that I've never seen this type because if you are familiar with this album you'd know that the background is not black it's white um, and when you look on the back it says uh, for promotional use only so i don't know if that means that this isn't meant to be on sale um but it was only 20 quid it's new condition it sounds absolutely fine it's only 20 quid it's a great album so yeah so guys that is it for the records and cds in total i got three records and three cds and i think it was for the price of around about 50 pounds so that's good because usually my uh, price limit is sit, uh, 100 pounds and usually i end up spending a little bit more over that but this time uh spent half so that's good uh so yeah, i was really happy with these records and i'm definitely going to those stores again next time so don't know when the next time i will be going to london is but when i do i will i will be making another video so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave it a like subscribe and turn on the post notifications and yeah hopefully i'll see you in the next video when i make it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one